Visio makes it simple enough to rotate shapes, but as you'll see in this clip, depending on the shape, we may need to rotate the text within a shape separately. In this example, I'll add the 2D single arrow shape from the blocks stencil. Type some text, and then click and drag the rotation handle to change the angle. Looks good, just what I wanted, so let's repeat on the other side. We can use the keyboard shortcut Control D to duplicate the shape and drag a copy over and just above the laptop image. As before, I can rotate the shape, but, and here's the problem, the text is now upside down. To reorient the text in the correct position, we'll need to use the text block tool found here in the tools group of the ribbon. This tool allows us to move, resize, or rotate the text block independently of the shape it's within. As with a shape, just click and drag on the rotation handle. Ah, much better. It's good to know about the text block tool, but keep in mind certain arrow shapes will rotate text automatically. For example, I'll repeat the previous exercise, but this time using a right arrow shape from the block's raised stencil. As before, I'll add the text and rotate the shape. Then duplicate the shape using the Control D shortcut and drag over. Watch how, as I rotate the shape, the text is automatically oriented to the correct position. This is good. So we've learned that certain shapes can automatically rotate text, and other times we'll need to use the text block tool to rotate text manually in Visio 2010.